Hi, I'm Tim Clark. I'm a director with Harrison Clark Chartered Surveyors. And in this video, I'm going to explain some of the tools that we use when carrying out a survey. That's a great question. In this video, I will run through some of the standard tools which our surveyors are equipped with. Each tool has a specific purpose. You might be surprised at how few tools we actually carry, but don't forget that a survey is normally a non-intrusive inspection and that we don't normally need to dismantle parts of the building. Here we go. Our surveyors each carry their own telescopic ladder, which fits easily into the boot of their car. But it does explain why you don't see many surveyors driving around in little sports cars. The ladder is long enough to reach the roof of a, uh, over a ground floor extension and can also be used to access roof spaces. The envy of men with workshops in their back gardens the world over, these ladders conform to the latest surveys, uh, latest safety standards with extra wide retractable support feet. Sometimes we're offered the use of a vendor's ladder. While this appears to be helpful, we don't know the history of their ladders and whether they have been subjected to damage in the past. So we always prefer to use our own, unless of course there's a built-in loft ladder. This is the principal bit of kit that you're not likely to find in a normal household tool stash. The moisture meter has two settings, a non-intrusive search function, which allows us to find moisture within materials without breaking the surface, and also the pin function. While the pin function can sometimes be more informative, most vendors will object to us leaving visible pinholes in their recently redecorated walls. The surveyor has to exercise skill and care when, when interpreting the readings given by a moisture meter. These are not idiot-proof machines. Often, these will give erroneous readings, which can be the result of metal plaster beadings, hidden electrical cables, or salts which have leached out of masonry last time a wall was damp. The surveyor will use their skill and knowledge to weed out incorrect readings. By itself, a moisture meter will not diagnose the cause of dampness or water ingress, but it gives our surveyors a starting point to follow the trail of evidence to correctly diagnose the cause of water ingress. Having inspected hundreds of properties, our surveyors are very familiar with the common causes of dampness and ordinarily can diagnose the causes quite quickly. Occasionally, water can enter areas of property in unusual ways, and so sometimes further investigation might be called for. One example of this is where we suspect a water leak from a concealed pipe which might need a plumber's attention to confirm our suspicion. Sometimes there can be multiple possible causes of dampness. In this instance, our surveyors might suggest more than one type of remedial work and will be candid that the exact cause is unknown. When this is the case, intrusive investigation might help, but we will always seek the most pragmatic and economical repair. The crowbar is really handy to help lift drain covers, particularly when they have not been opened for some time. Coupled with a small flatbed screwdriver, this often makes light work of stuck drain covers. This small toolkit contains a number of different screwdrivers, pliers, allen keys, etc. This gives us the tools we need to open up boxings and service hatches. This one cost me less than a tenner about eight years ago and is still going strong. Where would we be without our iPhones? This has so many uses, including dictaphone, torch, spirit level, paperweight, timer, etc. While we also carry some of these as proper tools, like a spirit level and torch, the iPhone does just fine for the majority of uses. I always carry these in my survey bag, but in all honesty, I'm really lucky and have great eyesight, so I rarely use them. These are particularly handy for surveyors who aren't as lucky as me as they can help us spot defects at high level or far away when close-up access isn't available. Dropping a marble on a hard floor surface can demonstrate whether a floor is sloping or level and can help us to identify structural defects by showing us quickly and easily where movement is happening as it will roll to the lowest point of the floor. This presentation has shown a small selection of the main tools in a surveyor's toolkit. Some other tools we can use are plumb bobs to test the straightness of walls and small mirrors for looking in hidden corners, for example. Some surveyors like to carry additional items such as boroscopes, drones, pole cameras, drain dies, thermal imaging cameras, hygrometers, drills and carbide testing machines. 
While these all have a basis of aim, we find that these, often these types of equipment are expensive distractions and on many occasions unnecessary. Our surveyors use their extensive knowledge and experience to diagnose defects, rather than significantly increasing the time on site, which would translate into higher survey costs. Our team of highly qualified surveyors can be contacted on 023 81 55 0051. They will be pleased to discuss your requirements and can explain the most appropriate approach to investigating building defects. We look forward to speaking with you soon.